Well, the thing they don't tell you about overlanding. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got some tools. We got a hood up. We got a screaming doggy. And we've got a, well, you know, not such a bad road, right? But actually, it's a pretty rough road. What happened is a major electrical that came off of here got caught up into this steel and fried. And I've checked a whole bunch of fuses. I can't even find a fuse that's out, which is so weird. So I've got a, a probe, a power probe. I hooked it up to my battery. And um, as soon as you hook a power probe up, typically the lights go on so that you know you can figure out what you need to do. And uh, hook the power probe up, nothing. So pretty sure I fried my battery. So got a call shout out to uh, Patrick at Elevated Overland. There's no cell service up here, no text, no nothing. Um, a guy was going down the hill and stopped we talked a bit and uh he's gonna relay a message when he gets down to the bottom to patrick and uh of elevated overland um and uh hopefully he's gonna come up one thing i didn't know i didn't know about the battery before he left and there's no way to get that information back down there again so if i get somebody going down there i'll send another message letting patrick know that it's probably the battery. Well, and then we got a screaming doggy. The nice thing is, yeah, there she is. Okay, she's not screaming right now, but she was earlier. I've got my home with me and we're in the shade and I have mosquito spray. <laughs> Look at this view. Is this insane? We're up in the San Juans and uh, well, yeah, we're in the San Juans. Uh, La Plata County, actually, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty epic place, but uh, not as epic right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've done all I can can to troubleshoot. Um, now I just listen to everybody say what a cool rig when they drive by and ask if they need help, which I so appreciate. Um, you know, and I just I let them know I've kind of got that part taken care of. Met another guy coming up. Um, he said when he comes back down, uh, if we need to, he can help me get to um, level ground, which will be a lot better. Well, we are still here. So shout out to my new friend, Kyle, who came up here, saw me. He said, I'll check on me on the way back. He came back, um, took his truck, Pulled me to this nice flat spot that you can see I'm no longer on the side of a hill. And uh, then turned around, took me, well, we hung out, talked a bit, <sighs> took me all the way down to the bottom of the hill in town where I was able to call Patrick, verify information back and forth that we just been doing. <laughs> I've been having people take texts down there for me to get a hold of him because there's nothing up here. Um, we're on our way back. This is crazy. We're on our way back. We get just around the corner here, right up there, and standing right here is a marmot. And guess what that little sucker did? Went underneath and chewed my radiator hose. So my radiator was puking out. Fortunately, I have an extra hose. I was able to fix that. Um, and now I'm waiting for Patrick to get here. You can see this mess. Uh, I've got everything torn apart so that we can diagnose what's going on. He thinks it's a main fuse, starter fuse, but it's a really strange fuse. You literally have to take the entire thing apart, take a couple bolts out to get this fuse out. And he's bringing me a spare also had him pick me up a battery because I'm pretty sure my battery is fried. Um, what I'm really hoping is it's that fuse and possibly the battery because I always return the battery if it's not. Um, and that's it and we're good to go. 
if not then we got to start wire tracing and figure out what else is blown because i have checked every other fuse i could every fuse is good so yeah here we are still could be worse right <laughs> <laughs> And I've got to say, almost everyone has come up here, that's come up here or gone down, has stopped, asked to see how I'm doing, made sure I had water. Uh, a couple was just up here. Uh, she works for Pepsi, apparently. And it was so funny. Her husband, he asked me if I wanted anything. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. His husband goes, okay, I have a question for you. You can only answer yes or no. I'm like, okay. And he goes, do you have Gatorade? And I go, no. And he goes, good. And he runs over to his, his wife's uh, four-wheeler and they gave me Gatorade. So Colorado, you guys are definitely the most welcome people. Um, everybody's been trying to help. Um, everybody, people have offered to drive into town and get me parts. I mean, super incredible. Now, the only other thing I have to worry about is when Patrick gets here because I've got a marmot problem and I guarantee he's going to come back for more and uh, going to have to deal with that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to hurt him, <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to have to figure a way that I can sleep here if I have to overnight and not worry about having everything chewed. Oh, boy. Um, but yeah. This is part of the adventure, right? Come here, Stinger. Come on. <laughs> Almost. So, what ended up happening? Well, Patrick and his beautiful wife, Jenna, showed up to rescue. And uh, what Patrick thought it was a fuse, a special fuse, a master fuse, actually. When he showed up, it wasn't the master fuse. We looked at it and it looked like it was perfectly fine. So he says, all right, you know, put the new battery in. So we put the new battery in and it starts. So I'm thinking, well, shoot, that's what it was. Patrick looks at me, he grins, puts his head down. He goes, Brad, Brad. He goes, nope, put the other battery in. Like, okay. So we put the other battery in and it starts one we had before it's like what is going on I've probably got the most dumbfounded look on my face and he goes the ECM the engine control module the computer needed to reset so what happened is it basically protected itself when it sensed the short and shut down and I needed to have the battery unplugged and then later plugged back in for it to reset properly so that everything would run that's all it was. Um, so big shout out to my friend Patrick and Jenna for coming out after I know a busy work day, two hour drive to come to my rescue. Um, also thank you to uh, Kyle for driving me up and down the mountain so that I could actually talk to Patrick so we could figure out what was going on instead of sending texts down by individual people. Uh, that was crazy. And thank you to all the people that were on that trail. Um, there were people that were locals. There were people, I believe there were some from Texas. Um, thank you so much. Everyone stopped. Everyone stopped by to say, are you okay? Do you need anything? Can we drive into town and get you parts? I mean, absolutely incredible. So what could have been a really bad situation for the two years that I've been on the road, that is gonna be go down as probably one of the most experiences of kindness that I've had on the road in two in this two years journey. Um, so pretty cool. So you guys, thanks. Um, keep living, we'll see you on the road.